In this video, I'll be showing you how to install Redis on a Linux system. If you're on Windows or on a Mac, the procedure is going to be just a little bit different. If you're on a Mac, you could almost follow this just with a slight modification to whatever Mac OS uh, system you have. So um, if you go over to downloads on redis.io forward slash download, you can actually get um, different kinds of versions. So let's see. So they have a Windows on official. They have the TAR, which is pretty much for Linux and Mac OS systems. So, but I'm not going to actually download it from their site. We're actually going to do this whole procedure through the terminal, which makes us that much more cooler. So let's go ahead and get started. Um, so we're going to go into user local source. And we're going to do a sudo w get http. Well, instead of doing that, let's come back over here. And let's do a uh, right here. Copy this link. Paste that in there. And hit enter. So there it goes. Now it's fetching the file. Give that a second to do that. Now that's done. Let's do. Um, let's go ahead and uncompress that tar file. sudo tar minus xzvf redis, whatever version it is. As of this video, the latest stable version is 2.8.3. So let's go ahead and uncompress that. Good. Now we want to um, change directories into the uncompressed directory. Now we want to do sudo make. And this is going to go ahead and compile our project, um, which is going to take a sec. I'm going to go ahead and stop the video, and when this is done, I'll come back. Okay, so the, the make went ahead and finished. So now we want to run a, a prefix. So we're going to do sudo make. Well, let me go come back over here so you guys can actually see this. sudo make and we want to do prefix pre p actually it's not letting me type it. Let's come back over here. So there it goes. sudo prefix user loco 2.83 install. There it goes. So now we want to make a symbolic link to that Redis. Um, yeah, so we're going to do sudo ln minus s Redis 2.83 forward slash user local forward slash Redis. Done. So now we want to echo out some variables through to our bash. So there it is. And one more. Compile. That bash profile. Now that now that, that is done, we're gonna go ahead and make a directory in um my home directory. So we're gonna make dir forward slash redis. And I'm gonna go ahead and do touch to create a new file. So forward slash Redis and I'm going to call it redis.conf. Okay, now I'm going to go ahead and edit that file, but let's just change directories into that folder that we made and let's go ahead and vi into that file. Okay, now that we're in here, we're going to go ahead and um, enter our configuration. So there we go at pretty much. So the log files is going to be inside that directory that I made and our data folder where our actual dump data is going to get stored is going to be forward slash user forward slash local forward slash redis. Good. So we're going to go ahead and um, write that out. Now we're going to go ahead and um, let me make this up just a little bit bigger. Yeah, there we go. So now we're going to go over into that's that's it. We're done. 
After that configuration, we have just finished installed Redis into our system. So we'll see you in the next video, getting to know the client and, and really seeing what Redis can do for us.